Hi everybody, I'm going to run you through the process of giving peer mark feedback in Turnitin. So once you've logged into Turnitin and you've found the appropriate class, you're going to find the assignment that it, the peer marking is for. So in this case, it's for an essay draft and I can see down here, it's got an extended um, Dropbox kind of thingy saying peer mark, peer mark drafting. All right, so over here, you can see there is a button called write reviews and a button called read reviews. Now I've already submitted my assignment here for this task. So it's going to allow me to write reviews um, as soon as the start time and date passes. So over here, click write reviews and it says, oh look, you've got two papers to review. Let's start with this one. Okay, I am now presented with the work of another one of my wonderful colleagues. And I can see here, this is an essay. They've given me two paragraphs to proofread. Fantastic. All right. Now, first thing I can see is over here. It tells me the review is by me. And it tells me the title of the essay I'm looking at. So if you put the name of your essay in the title when you submit, whoever's reviewing your work will be able to see that here. So I recommend don't include your name there. The other suggestion I have, I can see right here, the student has put their name in um, and that's um, for a final copy, that's fantastic. But in the draft process, don't put it in because nobody needs to know who you are or whose work they're looking at. All right. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read the instructions. And over here, I'm giving pretty clear instructions. Now, the instructions for your draft Dropbox might be a little bit different to this one. So I'm not going to read this out in detail now. But the important thing to take into account is that when you are giving peer feedback, you need to maintain the standards and expectations of our school at all times. So you're providing respectful, constructive feedback. Um, positive, focusing on the positives and giving suggestions for improvement. Remember, the better that everybody does, the better that everybody does. So um, after I've read that, I'm going to see I've got a couple of questions here to answer. So in this case, how clearly does the author express his or her ideas? Scan and spot the paper for any of the following problems. And uh, how smoothly does it integrate examples? And does the author use correct Harvard referencing? All right, well, I can check referencing straight away by doing a quick scan and I can see that looks right, that's good, um, but their bibliography is incorrect. So I'm just gonna click on the essay and it's gonna give me the option to write a, a comment. Um, please check reference. And I don't know how to reference a website at the moment, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Bam, done. Okie dokie. Over here, I'm going to click two because they've got it right in here. Oh, I keep doing that. Um, but they've got their bibliography wrong. So by doing that, I make it really, really clear when the student sees their feedback, they know to go and check it. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly scan here. Education means considerably more than just teaching student to read, write, and manipulate numbers. Okay, that's a great topic sentence. So I'm going to write that here. Great topic sentence, very clear. Okay, over here is their explanation sentence. That seems good. Um, oops, I've got to save that. Silly me. Over here, now, for the purposes of our work today, I'm just going to say make sure you link this to the novel. There we go. Um, now here is where I would ordinarily expect some evidence to be. It's clear that the student is continuing to ask a question. So I'm going to say um, evidence, e.g. quote or scene or action you referring to here. Now, I'm not too worried about spelling, but I do want to make sure that my reviewee can understand what I've written. So I'm just going to check my spelling and then click save. Also, it's pretty embarrassing as an English teacher to get it wrong. All right. So I'm then going to read through the rest of that. And I'm going to provide a couple of points for how to improve. Now, I'm going to come back over here. Um, 
checking the questions and this is a five word minimum so I have to write a comment here. Uh, in this case there are no informal usages of language here but if there is I might actually write um, please check for use of personal pronouns and remove. Okay, so they I, we, you, us, that has to go. All right, down here, how smoothly does this paper integrate examples into its argument? What I'm gonna say is, look, I'm really impressed with down here and that particular uh, integration of evidence. So I'm gonna say some of your evidence works really well, but you haven't got evidence for your first paragraph. Can I suggest that you use something like blah? Okay, I'm gonna give them a suggestion to help them improve. Um, or maybe, I don't think that the evidence you've used in para three really supports your point. Maybe use the example where X happens or Maybe you need to rewrite your analysis of that example to be more clearly linked to the topic sentence. Done. All right, that's all finished. I'm now going to come up here and I'm going to hit submit. Oops, I apparently have an answer question. Oh, yes. How clearly does the author express his or her ideas? Look, I'm going to say a four. I actually think it should be a five. Um, it's very clear. It's very well written. But that's because I shamelessly cut and pasted that couple of paragraphs from this website here because, you know, I'm a terrible plagiarizing thief. All right, I'm now going to click submit. Done, fantastic, thank you very much. Click return to the assignment inbox. And then over here, I can click start review to start my next assignment. Once I've done that, or in fact, once my colleagues, my peers have reviewed my work, this little gray button here, read reviews, that'll be available to be pressed. So as soon as somebody has read my essay, I can click that and I will get some feedback. All right. Thank you very much for paying attention. I know that was a little bit long. Hopefully you're able to skip to the parts that are helpful. If you've got any problems accessing your peer draft, um, please get in touch with the staff at the library, get in touch with your classroom teacher or flick the T team an email. All right, thank you.